sacrosanct, prized, inviolable. That's how you expect your privacy to be, but it's likely not even close. As India Today's investigation has found, the intimate details of stand exposed to rings of private detectives ready to conduct underhanded investigations, posing as suspicious husbands looking for phone call records of their spouses, India Today's investigative reporters reached out to several private spies. Alarmingly, all of them promised to obtain and sell unlawfully accessed call detail records or CDRs. First, meet Rahul Kumar. He runs his detective agency in Noida's Sector 34 on the outskirts of Delhi. The man readily claimed he would secure call records of fictitious women and provide them to his clients. और टेक्निकल इंक्वायरीज करनी पड़ेंगी इसमें टेक्निकल जैसे फोन्स वगैरह का कुछ नहीं करना पड़ेगा मैं आपको बोल नहीं सकता मैं कॉल डिटेल वगैरह निकलवाने की आपको नहीं बोलूँगा निकलवानी पड़ेगी हो जाएगा किस किस पर्सन से बात कर रही है क्या कर रही है वो तो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है सर लेकिन हम आपको प्रोवाइड नहीं कराएंगे सबसे पहले हम आपको नहीं देंगे ठीक है उसमें हम स्टडी करके आपको बता देंगे किस नंबर पर पर्टिकुलर बात कर रही है रेगुलर बट सर मैं तो देखना चाहूँगा ना आपको दिखा देंगे लेकिन देंगे नहीं आप ये कमेंट a clever tactic not to leave evidence behind of illegitimate spying. Kumar then quotes his bill. You just heard this detective can dig out restricted call detail records for a fee of 70,000 rupees. The market is seemingly overwhelmed by professional nosy parkers. Vikram Singh's Krishna Detectives operates out of Chanakya Place in Delhi. During his meeting with India Today's Special Investigation Team, he explains how call detail records can be secured clandestinely. Multiple agencies, multiple touts do it, he claims. <laughs> So this detective can access private call detail records for anything between 15 and 20 thousand rupees and he'll get it executed in days he says. कॉल रिकॉर्ड लेकिन आपको जब मैं आपका केस करूँगा उसके हफ्ते दस दिन के बाद हाँ कोई इशू नहीं कोई इशू नहीं नो इशू ओवर सरेप्टिशियस इंट्रूजन्स दे गो ऑन चेक्ड डिस्पाइट सेवरल अरेस्ट ओवर रंगफुल एक्सेस ऑफ कॉल डिटेल रिकॉर्ड्स in July, the Delhi police arrested three private detectives for illegally procuring call detail records. A month before, another interstate racket was busted. In 2013, three policemen and as many private investigators were arrested for accessing BJP leader Arun Jaitley's call data records. With the 2007 bill governing private detectives still pending in Parliament, suspects were charged under the Indian Penal Code and the IT Act. Now we're going to play for you conversations a Delhi-based businessman held with several private detectives who struck a deal with him for stealthily obtaining call detail records. He sent these recordings to the Prime Minister's office in December last year. The PMO forwarded them to the Home Ministry. A probe was then launched by the Delhi police. India today has obtained these CDs from official sources. But we will not reveal anyone's identity given the sensitivity of the issue and these recordings that are currently still under investigation. Listen now to how call detail records are up for sale. Sure. 
थाउजेंड से टेन हो सकता है फिफ्टीन हो सकता है ट्वेंटी हो सकता है वो टन करता है फोन पे ना कोई एग्जैक्ट अभी कुछ नहीं समझ रहा मतलब कितने पीरियड जब तक कितने चार सौ निकाल दोगे एक मंथ का नहीं एडिशनल मंगाने का आपसे फिर आपको आपको हम प्रोवाइड करते हैं टेन थाउजेंड पर मंथ एस एम एस के नंबर से आते हैं ये नंबर देखेंगे ना आपको नंबर को टारगेट लेके चलेंगे कि कौन सा नंबर है जिससे सबसे ज्यादा बातचीत मतलब कितना मेरा टोटल एक्सपेंस पड़ जाएगा मतलब कितना फुल उसको मैं कैसे होता हूँ आगे मान के चलो आपका जो है टोटल जो है पचहत्तर हजार रूपये लेगा ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड हाँ बीस आगे हमारे तरफ You just heard how, for many private detectives, breaching privacy and personal details is a regular danda, a regular business. It's high time, though, the government enacted groundbreaking measures to regulate this industry and protect individual privacy from prying spies who can be bought for a price. With Jamshed Khan, Sushant Pathak, Arun Singh, and Amit Chaudhary in the national capital, this is India Today's special investigation team. It's not just call detail records that are up for sale. The invasion into your privacy goes way beyond that. These unscrupulous detectives are willing to offer for a hefty price, of course, apps, hidden apps, invisible apps that will not be seen when you scroll through your phone apps, but apps which will enable somebody who wants to spy on you to listen to every single call you make, every single SMS you send. Here is part two of this India Today investigation, Phone Spies. You are cheating on your spouse or your sweetheart. Your partner can easily find out by installing a special app on your phone while investigating the call detail records bazaar. India Today's team has come across professionals who can help eavesdroppers to listen in to live streams of calls they want to snoop on. This is Detective Vaibhav Gupta of Delhi-based Key Investigation Company. He offers to equip India Today's undercover reporters with a special remote surveillance application, a creepy invisible app that can be installed on target phones stealthily. The app he has accessed is actually used by parents to monitor the activities of their children or by spouses to listen into calls being made by their cheating partners or even by companies to keep tabs on suspect employees the key feature of this phone spy application is you cannot spot it once it's installed on your phone main aapko ek software dunga theek hai aapne wo install karna hai 5 minute lagenge usko install karne mein uske baad aap inke pure phone ka control aapke paas ho control mere paas ho ka matlab like जितनी भी वो आउट गोइंग करेंगी जितनी अच्छा। भी वो इनकमिंग आएगी तो वो आप सुन सकते कभी भी आप उनकी लोकेशन चेक कर सकते कि वो कहाँ पर ठीक है फोन में जितने भी कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर होंगे वो आप देख सकते हैं जितने भी टेक्स्ट मैसेजेस होंगे इनकमिंग आउट गोइंग टेक्स्ट पढ़ सकते हैं जितने भी फोटोग्राफ्स शेयर करेंगे वो किसी भी साइट पर वो आपके पास सर देखिए सॉफ्टवेयर का जो चार्ज रहेगा वो रहेगा ट्वेंटी वन टाइम You've just heard him demanding twenty-five thousand rupees. It's his annual charge. He'll renew the app every single year. So beware again. If you're dating outside of your relationships, and your spouse is aware of your phone password, this app installs quickly. Your partner would just need your handset for a couple of minutes. Unka phone ka password le sakte hain ya paas dost mit ke liye phone carry kar sakte hain. तो आप बस पासवर्ड पता कीजिए उनके फोन का ठीक है इंस्टॉलेशन में आपको बता दूंगा गूगल फोन मैं पता करता हूँ सर अगर नहीं मैं तो वही कह रहा हूँ इफ की बात कर रहा हूँ अगर हो जाता है फिर तो कॉल डिटेल रिकॉर्ड्स की जरूरत ही नहीं है जरूरत नहीं है किसी भी चीज फिर तो सारी चीजें आपके वैसे ही आ रही है कैसे बात हो रही है क्या नहीं हो रही है The special snooping app being sold by private detectives is not available on public platforms like Google and the App Store. But India Today's probe discovered such shady applications are also available on public platforms. Some are free, of course. Some come with a nominal charge. All available on the global app bazaar. Take a look.
The need to spy on mobile phones, the need to actually stealthily get other people's data, uh, who they're calling, where they are, what kind of texts they're sending, what kind of pictures they're sending, has become a multi-crore business in India and a multi-billion dollar industry across the world. Thousands of people who use mobile phones actually feel the need for such services and that's why it's booming in India as well, not always above board. Now if you, for example, go to Google Play, one of the largest app markets online and just simply type in spy apps you get an absolute profusion of possible spy apps that you can actually download. Uh, yeah, the, the actual efficiency and the way they work is not always verified, but these uh, are the plethora of apps that are actually available. Here in India, I want to show you there are actually apps that serve a particular kind of market. Cheating spouses, uh, espionage within organizations, uh, people within organizations or companies that may actually steal uh, information. Take a look at the prices that are currently on offer for mobile spy apps that you can download from 5,000 rupees to 10,000 rupees to 25,000 rupees. Even the most basic service that you can pay for, for 5,000 rupees a year, here's what you can actually get if you download that app and use it to spy on others. Call logs, call recordings, applications, SMS messages, surroundings, GPS locations, web history, photo uh, recapture, remote uninstall. You can actually control somebody else's phone using that. The more advanced versions of these apps actually allow you to hack into things like Facebook chat, Yahoo emails, Gmail uh, mails. Uh, Skype chats, Viber call logs and that sort of thing. So the more money you actually pay for apps like this, the more uh, uh, services you're actually uh, gaining. There are mobile uh, apps of this kind, not just in India but around the world that work on iPhone, Android, Blackberry and more. There are live demonstrations uh, where people will even give you a full demonstration of how such things actually work. They cost a pretty penny. For example, Mobile Phone Spy made by a company called, called Mobile Stealth happens to be one of the most popular apps that's available to buy uh, on uh, on uh, app stores at this point of time and this gives you a sense it's a full video that gives you a sense of what all you can actually access uh, through this app it's they've got a person a salesperson who actually explains everything about this app making it seem like it's completely above board but there is a legal gray area in the use of such apps and the access of such information the very idea that someone can eavesdrop on your private moments and conversations is scary enough. But this unfortunately is already happening and is backed by technology that runs completely afoul of any legal privacy norms. A tricky situation when you don't know what your handset may be gathering about you without your knowledge or consent. With Sushant Pathak and Jamshed Khan in Delhi, this is India Today's Special Investigation Team. To talk about this rampant, totally illegal call details bazaar, I'm joined now by Pawan Dugal. He's a senior advocate in the Supreme Court, also with us, is Sipal Singh. He's a private investigator, detective, and it's detectives and these private investigation companies, Mr. Singh, that are now in the eye of a storm after this India Today investigation shows. You can go to a private detective, pay 70,000 rupees, buy call detailed records of your corporate rivals, your children, your spouse. How can this happen? We just heard from the Delhi police saying that there are very strict guidelines. You can't go out only after a DCP authorizes it. Can you get access to call detailed records? It's a joke. You just go. It's as easy as ordering a McDonald's burger. I, I definitely agree with you that it has become a joke. Actually, the CDR, call data record, is laid down rules, regulation act. They cannot go against it and they are liable to be punished for that. But by and large, what I am trying to say is, is unethical people. You don't have to say that by and large the industry as such is rampant with this sort of... It's not just the call records. Look at these illegal apps that are installed on your phone, invisible apps that stay hidden, apps that can help you listen into the conversation being made by somebody else. Now, Mr. Sipal Singh, this is totally illegal. Let's not confine only to the this act information technology here they have got as uh, mr dugal has pointed it's a myopic thing you go up to the there's a broader law the broader law is that under that broader law which has to come that regulates clearly any privacy under section 18 of that that is likely to be punished 
that is considered as a cognizable offence. That does not come in. Then we have got our own moral code of conduct. There is no licensing so what. As of now, but there are eight well, private well, detectives well, and their companies, well. Mr. Singh, who have been exposed by India today this evening. Can you guarantee to us that all of them will be thrown out of your association, that action will be taken? They will be named and shamed and not just on TV, Sir, but actual action will be taken against them. If they are members of our association, they will be thrown within a period of one month. We have got a rule no, no, laid down in one month to we'll throw them out. You know, it's Conduct good to see down. him but on, the, the, on the behalf is, of the association the say association? that we will take action. But several of these are small time operators. Even if they are members, they don't care if they are not members because what changes? Even if they aren't members, how does it matter? They can still continue selling call detail records. They can continue downloading these apps on your phone illegally. Nothing changes. So clearly the question is uh, very simple. Number one, India does not have a dedicated law on privacy and there's an urgent need to have one. Uh, number two, the expansive definition to Article 21 of the Constitution wherein your fundamental right to life includes right to privacy needs to be furthermore expanded to give it a far more meaningful context today. And number three, a majority of these mobile crimes have still not been covered under the existing law. So the urgent requirement is for the government to come up with appropriate mechanisms to criminalize the use of these mobile applications on communication devices. Do you have some advice for people watching who are concerned about their privacy being up for sale? What are basic precautions that can be taken by our viewers to ensure, I mean, it can't be fail proof, but to some extent guard themselves from being invaded on? Your viewers need to understand that their privacy is in their own hands, number one. So they will have to be consciously duly diligent and aware. Number two, they should not give their mobile phones to any person, whether it's their friends, family or any other stranger. Number three, you should never accept a mobile phone which is gifted to you because you do not know what's actually inside there. And number four, if you are finding that your mobile phone is slow, go ahead, take a backup, but completely format the phone. Only publish on that information on your mobile which is absolutely necessary. Do not take very intimate or personal photographs on mobile phones because mobile phones can potentially be hacked and this kind of information be taken. And finally, use mobiles with care. Only communicate so much that is essential. Let's not go into a vomiting exercise where we are vomiting information privacy. Sensible words there from Pavan Duggal. Let's hope they help some people from having their privacy being invaded on. But remember, Privacy being up for sale is a very, very scary phenomena indeed. Sipal Singh, Pawan Dugal for joining me on the newsroom tonight. Thank you. And the government needs to move fast. We need a privacy bill. We also need a bill which regulates private detectives. It cannot be a free-for-all where anything goes. With this, we wrap up the newsroom tonight. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. with another action-packed edition of the newsroom. Till then, from all of us here in the India Today newsroom, goodbye, good night.